Hey everyone! Welcome to Deco Easy. It's Diane here with a new video for you today. If you're back to our channel, so nice to see you again. Thank you for coming over again. And if you're new, welcome. I'm Diane and I host this channel together with my mother-in-law, Jenny. We're both from the Netherlands and we love to decorate our homes for every season, especially Christmas, but we're not going to do that today. And we also love DIYing thrifting, uh, making shop, shop logs, which isn't possible right now because when I'm filming we're still in the lockdown in the Netherlands. So, all shops closed, thrift stores closed, only, um, yeah, there's only shopping available at the supermarket, but you don't find many decor items right there, at least not in the Netherlands. Um, today I'm doing uh, an Easter DIY. Sorry, there's a lot of traffic going on last night right now. Uh, I will be making an Easter DIY and I will do that for um, a challenge from DIY to Destroy Wind's Nest from Sandra. And uh, the host is Mom Das. Oh, actually, they're both hosting. Sorry. And the host is Mom Das from Mom Das Life Had Made. And I'm going to upcycle something into a useful DIY because that is the name of the challenge, uh, the useful DIY challenge. Um, I'm going to make some decor for Easter because I think you can never have enough Easter decor, um, especially not in preparation. Uh, Easter is a big thing actually in the Netherlands here. There is a lot of Easter decor available um, and I love to make some of myself. So that will be turning out great, I think. Um, I hope that you're having fun watching this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell button. And if you have suggestions, questions, anything else you'd like to tell us, please don't hesitate. Just write it down in the comment section below and Jenny and I will try to take a look at it as quickly as possible. Okay, um, what I'm going to do next, I am going to upcycle a bottle. Um, you all know this one maybe from a DIY with a gnome that I did recently. Uh, this is actually the same bottle, uh, not the same, it's another one from the same brand. This was just a party drink, which I had for Christmas, alcohol-free, it was, tastes like strawberry, you know, with soda water, so... Very basic. Um, I don't use the bottle anymore, I can throw it away, but I also can use it for a DIY. So, I went to Pinterest uh, to get myself some inspiration, and um, I think it's going to be fun. I want to make some sort of farmhouse Easter style today, uh, so I hope I'm going to nail it. Okay, let's start crafting. Okay, time to remove the wrap, the paper of this bottle. It's just plastic, so that won't be a big deal, I hope. And I hope I can get something loose, because with the first bottle, that was quite difficult. Hopefully this one will be easier. Oh, this is only a top part, not the complete plastic part. Okay, take out a knife and let's see if I can ma ow, manage to... Mm. There is some air underneath the wrap now, but maybe the bottom part is more easy to get loose. Where does this thing start? Oh, here. Yeah, I can hardly see what is going on. It's dark outside, outside even though it's in the middle of the day. Um, it's cold, it's freezing at the moment. It isn't snowing. That is only in the southern parts of the Netherlands. There there was some snow. But not with us. Only in the very southern part. In that corner where the Netherlands meet Germany and Belgium. This is such... oh, no. I would say this is such a disaster to remove, but... This part went easy. Sorry for the background noise, by the way. I have a washing machine operating. There we go. Just a nice... empty bottle. The cap is black, luckily. Uh, the previous bottle had uh, a golden cap, but that wasn't the original one. Let me see. If I open up, here you can see there is a cap inside. So the black part um, is supposed to be staying around the golden part, but for the first bottle that didn't happen, so I didn't know that. Um, oh, I think I need to clean the bottle. Yeah, there's still a, bit of a, a little bit of strawberry inside. So I'm going to wash it, let it dry, and then it's ready for use. 
so that we have a nice clean bottle with us. Here we go, a nice and clean bottle. I just used some, uh, how do you call that? Dishes, liquid for the dishes, soap for the dishes. Pour a little bit into the bottle, uh, fill it up to here, I think, with water. Then uh, shake it very well and uh, just rinse everything out of the bottle. So it's dry and clean from, oh, not dry from the inside, I see. At least it is from the outside, so it just needs to wait a little bit longer. Um, but when it's completely dry, I think I uh, want to paint it black and therefore I have this blackboard paint. It was a recommendation of Johnny. I hope the camera can focus on this thing. Hello, where do you go? Pressing the button doesn't make difference at all. That is weird. Come on. It isn't that hard, you know. Maybe this helps. Nope. Well, let me do it like this. Blackboard paint, or in the Dutch we say schoolboard verf. Yeah, schoolboard. Oh. Well, it is anyway from a shop called Action, similar to Dollar Tree in the Netherlands. Um, in the Netherlands and the United States. Well, what a weird day for talking. Okay. Um, Time for painting, actually. That was what I wanted to say. Okay, back again. I changed my shirt into a black one because I don't trust myself with paint, you know. That's why I also put this fleece blanket upon the table. Because really, I don't want to paint my table black. Okay, here we go. Just used a regular paintbrush and I'm painting everything black. And this stuff smells great, actually. <laughs> so the weird thing that you like the smell of... Oh my gosh! Look how good this, this coverage of this paint is. This is really amazing. Didn't expect that. Thank you, Jenny, for the recommendation. Because this is much better than spray painting. Yeah, spray painting is also great, but you have to go outside and it's way too cold now. So that isn't an option. It's also raining, by the way. Make the mistake once. Spray painting when it's raining. Not that much of a heavy rain, but you know, a little bit. And my project didn't like that. You saw it when it turned out. It had all kind of flakes, sprinkles, weird patterns upon the... Uh, painted part, so no, that was a no-go. Definitely not going to do that again. We can use, actually, not a thick layer of this. Now it's so shiny, but it, of course, turns out matte, matte black. Yeah, I'm really surprised by this stuff. I think it's just some sort of chalk paint, actually. Well, it says blackboard paint, but I think that is almost the same as a chalk paint. Now that this part, and the smell is way much better. You don't have the gases that you uh, breathe in from a spray uh, spray paint can. I always, by the way, now use a mouth nose mask to um, protect my spell while spray painting, just an ordinary one. paint. I hope you can see it now. It is dry. Not everything is... Oh, my finger stuck. It's covered up perfectly, so... Uh, greasy hand. <laughs> is it safe for me to do, or...? Just turn it over and paint the bottom. Because that is a part... It isn't covered up great yet.
the whole bottle but has been painted twice completely I painted every single bit of it just to make sure that everything is covered perfectly especially the top and the bottom because that had only been painted once so close the lid and wait again for about half an hour till it's dry. The bowl is completely dry now. Look, you can see how beautiful the matte effect is. Now I want to print out some bunnies. Uh, I measured how large this part is because I want to uh, place them here. Um, and then put the bunnies upon the bottle. Uh, I will search Pinterest for a suitable, or actually the internet, for a suitable print, which is free. So course. here we are on the computer and I found this cute bunny silhouette. I uh, also have several in white. Look, here we are. Oh, stay there, you don't. Like that. Uh, so I print several in white and also several in pink. Maybe I want to use both, maybe I want to use one color. I don't know yet, but we'll see how it turns Okay, out. here we are. I printed it. Uh, time to cut everything out. Oh look, it matches my sweater. Yay. Um, yeah, I think maybe I'll do a combination. I don't know yet. First, I want to cut everything out and then take a look what looks best in my opinion. Sorry for the background noise. My printer is getting crazy again. Every time I turn the power off, it starts making noises like crazy. Don't know why, but it does it every time. It's not that it's something new, so I don't think it's broken. To be honest, I've cut it at one. They're cute, but I think they need to be bigger, actually. Maybe twice the size as it is now, but... Yeah, this is 8 centimeters tall, but it's still small, in my opinion. Otherwise, it disappears completely into the bottle. Look. It's just too small. Okay. Print the whole thing again then. By the way, I'm not throwing away these. I want to keep them. Maybe I can use them for another decor project. So just put them in a separate bag and then wait till I need them. Oh, I can also check out what, what I prefer actually. Maybe I think I'm going to cut out that pink one. Because I still needed to take a look what looks more beautiful. So. Okay, ready for route number two? Look, these are a lot bigger. This is the new size, this is the old size, so... This seems better and also e actually easier to cut, um, but that is not the most important thing.
larger one look this is better and also it suits the bottle more now you think oh this is a rabbit this looks better 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 than the small ones time to cut out the rest maybe i'll uh, take a look at the size three is enough uh, just have to see how it works out I cut out three bunnies because uh, I measured on the bottle if I used four it would be too big then the ears would overlap each other and that would be not nice. Uh, I have a tip for everyone or an advice actually. If you're having a print that you need to cut out, well I know myself I'm not that much of a straight you know, cutter. I can't cut very straight. Um, but I have a, a black edge around my print so it doesn't matter if I cut a little bit wrong cut still looks clean and uh, the edge has the same color as the background so when I put this upon the um, bottle, thank you brain, um, if I put it upon the bottle just with glue the black line disappears into the background and you can't see that um, this cut straight anymore so that is an advice if you're cutting out a designer print uh, that you want to paste upon uh, something with a colored background, you want to have a straight cut, then use a line around your design in the same color as your background. Look, now the cut doesn't look, oh, I'll zoom in a little bit more, the cut doesn't look that straight anymore right now, but that is indeed because I, uh, I'm i not really good at cutting. Okay, time to put the Mod Podge on the back of the print. Actually, I hope I have put enough upon my project. Yeah, I think so. Most important thing to do is the edges and of course I always seal the design afterwards just to protect. <laughs> to seal in a design with some Mod Podge. I try to work as neat as I can while sealing because I actually don't want to damage the matte surface of the uh, bottle to be honest. So it's the next day, the glue is all dry, the bunnies are secured and well, 
Uh, now it's time to do the last step, and that is decorating the bottle with some ribbon. Um, what I want to do is give the bunnies a really cute bow. I'm going to make one myself. Let me see, did I have... Did I have the right... Yeah, I need more. Am I doing it wrong? Yes, I am doing it wrong. Okay, very easy actually. Only need your two fingers to make this beautiful bow. Don't double the loop. Or the uh, ribbon, actually. There is a tutorial, by the way, if you need it. If you're wondering how I make this uh, in slow-mo, just ask me for the link. Look, very cute. Maybe it's a bit too large. Oh. Let's see if I can make it smaller if I put my fingers more together. Do it really small then. Don't know if it works because the ribbon is also a bit larger than I expected it to be upon this bottle. This is a really nasty tiny piece of fabric. It's smaller now, I think it is. Yes, it's cute. Okay, time to cut everything off. Don't want to have that long edges on the end. There's a bit of fabric there and here as well. Fold the ribbon to double. Just cut off the edges. And then There we go, number one. I'm going to make three more and then my glue gun is heated up here. I'll be applying it to the bottle. I'll be back soon. Here we are, I have three small boats. I cut off the edges so you can still see that it is a bunny. I also thought maybe if I double the loops and glue them together, but don't think that is going to turn out beautiful, to be honest. Then you get, in my opinion, a really weird looking ribbon, but you know, the loops are just way too large, actually, in my, in my opinion. And maybe that I'm going to do it. Yeah, this is just huge.
here one last bow. This will be the front. Really cute! Just a really festive bottle for Easter for decoration. You can also put, of course, flowers in it if you want to. I think it's so stinky. Just look how cute it turned out. Really festive as well. I think it looks beautiful inside of a vignette in the kitchen or, yeah, maybe everywhere. You can also add flowers if you want to. Just to open up the cap on the top and put something in there. Is it also nice to have... No, that looks weird. Okay. Well, I think I'm done. Yeah. So cute. I'm happy. Just look how cute this turns out. I just made a small vignette. Just an idea for decoration, by the way. With some bunnies and some greenery. Upon a piece of fur. Oh, this is so cute. This would look beautiful upon my uh, wardrobe in the whole way, actually. Such a simple idea. Made from upcycling or upcycled or, uh, objects, which I otherwise would have thrown away, but this is so cute. I love it. So that was it for today. Uh, thank you, Sandra and Mom, for hosting this great challenge. Dear watchers, please don't forget to check out the channels of the host. I'll put a link to the, both of their channels in the description box. You can check out what their uh, kind of videos they make. I also put a link to the playlist in the description box. So check out what other creators made in this lovely challenge. Thank you so much for watching and that you took the time to uh, come back to our channel or to watch our video again if you're new here. And Jenny and I hope to see you back again in our next video. All safe and well. Stay safe, stay healthy everyone, and enjoy your day. Bye!